dreams come true. There is no limit to what we can do. Turning no's to yes, leaving doubt behind, releasing the stress. We were born to shine. You're now tuned in to the Sade Champagne Show. show. With the cast, cast, Christina Christina Renee, 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 Rick and Melissa Wood, Lisa Lee Walt, Veronica Veronica Escobar Winner, Winner, Ariana Ariana Cardé, and Aya Kule, Falama, Celebrity Guest Interviews, Segments on Health. Wellness, creativity, entrepreneurship, spirituality, hot topics, and more. You're now tuned in to the Sade Champagne Show. Good evening, everyone. That was Mandisa with Overcomer. It's Sade Champagne, and welcome to the Motivational Moments special episode of the Sade Champagne Show on Grind Hard Radio. Last week was my birthday special episode, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in, calling into the show, and celebrating with me. We are back with some special episodes before Season 2 officially premieres on July 20th. We have two new castmates, Ayakunle Falama and Ariana Carde, and we'll have 17 brand new episodes from my cast and I this upcoming season. Every episode is available on iTunes. Search the Sade Champagne Show, and you can download them for free. Also, my Sade Champagne YouTube channel is another place where you can listen to the show afterwards. Thanks to everyone from tuning in from all around the globe. All episodes of my show are available at blogtalkradio.com slash grindhard underscore radio. I've also posted the direct link to this episode on my Twitter and Facebook pages, so you can tune in at any time. Thank you to Travis Miller for creating and producing my show's theme song and to Scott Swoosh for mixing it. If this is your first time listening, I'm a professional musical artist, performer, inspirational speaker, and entrepreneur. I have created, directed, and executive produced over 200 charitable and inspirational events, including my popular Power of a Dream tour. I love mentoring, coaching, authentically being myself, and using my platform to encourage, empower, and bring out the gold in others. Tonight's 30-minute special episode is all motivational moments with castmate Lisa Lewalt. My Power of Dream Tour is always booking new shows and performances. This summer, we will be in Fresno, Ventura, Oxnard, Orange County, and more. We love traveling, and if you're looking to bring Power of a Dream Tour or any of our award-winning, critically acclaimed artists or speakers to your city or event, please email me at sadechampagnemusic at gmail.com. Once again, that's sadechampagnemusic at gmail.com for more details. Check out my Facebook page, Sade Champagne, to see our full schedule. Just look under events. Lastly, thank you to everyone who's been watching, sharing, and subscribing to all my new videos. I'm constantly writing new pieces and creating new songs, and I'm going into the recording studio soon. I actually just started a new video series called My Birthday Month Diaries, where I'm sharing with you guys all about what I'm up to this month, how I feel being 29, what I've learned in my life so far, and I just want to um, let you more into my life and my career and my dreams. To find out more about my musical journey and how you can be involved, check out GoFundMe.com slash Sade Champagne Music. Once again, that's GoFundMe.com slash Sade Champagne Music. I'll be live tweeting and posting on Facebook all show long, and I want to know your thoughts. Tweet me at S-A-D-E-C-H-A-M-P-A-G-N-E or Facebook me at Sade Champagne, or Instagram me at I am Sade Champagne, hashtag Sade Champagne Show, or GHR, to join in the conversation. Shout out to everyone who's already been tweeting me, Facebooking me, Instagramming me, YouTubing me, emailing me every single week, every single day. Your support empowers me, and I am forever grateful and thanks on to every single one of you. So let's get this episode going with motivational moments. Join award-winning multi-threat performer, entertainer, and motivational speaker Lisa Leewald as she shares inspirational stories and ideas to help encourage, empower, and activate you and your dreams and aspirations. Be sure to follow her at Lisa Leewald on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and hashtag motivational moments to join in the conversation. Once again, that's 
Lisa Lewalt, L-I-S-A-L-E-W-O-L-T, on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and hashtag Motivational Moments to join in the conversation. Hey, guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Motivational Moments. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, Yesterday was actually kind of a rough day for me, and I had put together some notes. I wanted to talk to you guys about perseverance, but when I was dealing with my stuff yesterday, I felt like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to speak on perseverance when I feel like chopped liver? I'm like, how am I going to how am I going to deliver this? So, instead of giving you a bunch of points, I kind of wanted to just speak to you about some of the things that I felt I needed to hear yesterday and I hope that it can encourage you as well. So, even though I don't even really fully believe in the word failure, I'm going to use it Um, in this reference because we still emotionally feel like we failed sometimes. And there's areas where I would call like a surface level failure where maybe you wanted to go to the gym and you didn't do it. Or maybe you um, went to an audition and you didn't book it. It's like a surface level failure. But then there's this whole other category that I like to call category failures. And that's when the whole vision that you had for your life in a certain area no longer seems possible anymore. For instance, if a doctor has told you that you have a disease that's incurable or you feel like you haven't been healthy for years or you're never going to be healthy again, your health is never going to look the way that you wanted it to look. Or maybe some kind of relationship, whether it's mother, daughter, brother, sister, got severed and you feel like it's never going to be the same again. It's never going to, you're never going to have the family life that you thought that you were going to have. And these category failures hit you so deep sometimes. It feels like your soul has died. And I feel like when those things happen, you have to know how to get through them. And, you know, it's like with these surface level failures, it's easy to listen to a motivational YouTube video or, you know, tell yourself the right things. And I know that that can get me off out of my couch fast enough that the next day I can succeed at it. But when it's something this deep, I feel like the only thing that really can get you back up is a deep hope. And a deep hope built on a solid foundation. One of the very first Sunday school verses that I learned when I was a kid was that the wise man built his house on the rock, but the foolish man built his house on the sand. I think when we have this picture that what success is, is having all these areas of our life looking exactly the way that we wanted to, having them be perfect. You know, our relationships are perfect and our career is going great. And then there's only one problem. It's that I don't know if you've lived in the same world as I have, but it's very rare that all these things are going perfectly all at the same time. So what happens? Our house is on the sand. It's on these shifting, moving plates that are never solid. And so we're constantly in a flux of emotions. We constantly feel like failures. We constantly feel like we're not successful because one piece or another isn't exactly how we think that it should look. And I challenge you today, you can't just go in and try to fix your life from the top down. You have to change your foundation. You have to change the foundation you built your house on. The only foundation that's solid is building your life on the promises of God. Do you know what a successful day really looks like? It's a day where you are aware of how much your father loves you from the moment you wake up till the moment your head hits that pillow. That foundation where he says that he is working everything together for your good, that he has prepared a future and a hope for you. That no matter what it looks like in this moment, you know that your father loves you. If he was willing to lay down his life for you, won't he also give you all things?
I think it's important to call to mind times in the past that God has been faithful. Or times in the past where you thought that you just weren't going to get through. But guess what? Here you are right now. You're still here. If your relationship with God is new, maybe this is, you know, a time to look at how God has been faithful to mankind throughout history and read some of those stories and let that encourage you that he is not a God who forsakes. I know that I've had experiences over and over again where God has been faithful to me when I thought that things were never going to change, that this was it. This was a category failure, if you will. And yet he made something beautiful out of those ashes. He did see it through. And things were woven together so perfectly that there's no way that it was just chance. One of these examples, when I was a kid, since I was 10 years old, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I have this picture in my mind that I'd replay every night before I went to bed. I used to love to sing and dance and act and speak, and I wanted to be able to do that on a daily basis. I wanted to be able to do what I loved, and I wanted to be able to encourage people. But I didn't know really how to do it. But I worked so hard, and I trained so hard for years. And the first couple of years, I didn't expect anything to happen. But after a lot of years went by, I slowly started to get a little bit more nervous that what if this was all just in my imagination? And then as more and more years went by, it seemed every year I lost just a little bit more confidence. And the dream seemed just a little farther away. Until finally I felt like there was no hope anymore. And it was almost just a joke now. There was no way that after all these years, something was just going to magically happen and allow me to live my dreams. At least that's what I thought. I'm sure most of you know that we're now on the Power of a Dream Tour, which is where I get to sing and dance and speak and encourage people and do everything that I always wanted to do. And you know how it started? I remember Sade came to me and she said, Lisa, I see you doing this. This is what I see this vision of you. And she described to me the exact vision, the exact picture that I saw from the day that I was 10 years old, and I had never told her anything about it. I believe God had shown her that vision to confirm to me that he had never left me, that that was from him, that he was using these passions and desires for a reason. He wasn't running me in circles and down a rabbit trail. He was leading me to a destination even when I didn't know it. Even when I stopped believing, he had not stopped believing in me. I know I was saying that it's not about getting all the areas of your life together. That's not what success is. But at the same time, when you do build your foundation on the promises of God, what are the promises of God? Like I said before, that he's working everything together for your good, that he'll never leave you or forsake you. I believe that when you've built your life on the promises of God, all those things that look like category failures are not. Because the power of God can change it around in a moment. Your health, no matter what the doctors say, can be restored. Your relationship, no matter what a family member says, can be restored. If you just keep your eyes fixed on him, he will walk you through your trials. He will walk you through these category failures. Because guess what? With him, there are no failures. So this week, I just want to encourage you guys to build your house on a solid foundation. Remember that true living hope that you have. Your God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. Just worry about today, focusing on his promises. And keep pushing forward. I hope you guys have a great week. Next up, we have Eleni with Rush. This music video is blowing up on YouTube, so be sure to check it out. You're listening to the Sade Champagne Show on Grind Hard Radio. Are you looking for a dynamic musical artist, performer, host, or inspirational speaker for your next event? What about a mentor, vocal instructor, or workshop leader for your school, company, or seminar? 
Contact Sade Champagne for countless professional services that are sure to fit your particular need. She is an in-demand, award-winning, and critically acclaimed musical artist, performer, inspirational speaker, and entrepreneur who is invited all around the world. She is known for having a powerful voice, turning ideas into action, creating, directing, and executive producing popular, charitable, and inspirational events, and bringing out the gold in others. Her services are for all ages, backgrounds, and environments. Contact Sade Champagne at Sade Champagne Music at gmail.com. That's spelled S A D E C H A M P A G N E M U S I C at gmail.com, Sade Champagne Music at gmail.com to book her for your next event or project. Hi, this is Lisa Leewalt of the Motivational Moment segment on the Sade Champagne Show, and you're listening on Grind Hard Radio. I am so excited about this upcoming season of Motivational Moments. I wanted to share with you guys just a little bit of what you can expect in the upcoming episodes. So in the first few episodes, I want to share with you guys some inspirational stories. One is this woman that was in my life that literally changed my perspective on everything. I really think that sharing her story with you is going to have just as much of an impact on your life as it had on mine. We're also going to give you some tips and tricks on how to stay focused on your goals. We're going to discuss intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, along with how to create a vision that is so compelling that it's going to keep you pushing towards your goals, even through all of the trials that might come along the way. I am so excited to get to know you guys over the next couple of weeks. Make sure to tune in. Thank you to everyone who tuned in tonight. Thank you for downloading, subscribing, and sharing my radio show. Next week's special 30-minute episode is Wellness Made Simple with castmate Veronica. Join certified holistic life coach, clinical aromatherapist, and inspirational speaker Veronica Esquivel-Winters to get some easy and practical tips on how to start living a holistic life, bringing unity to your mind, body, and spirit. Hashtag Wellness Made Simple to ask her your health and wellness questions and join in the conversation. Thanks to Grind Hard Radio for the opportunity to create my own radio show. I can't believe we're going into our second season. This is such a huge dream come true. That's been five years in the making, and I'm thankful, very, very thankful for it. Thanks to Travis Miller for creating and producing my theme song. Make sure you check out his brand new music on iTunes, YouTube, Amazon, and Spotify. Sunset is his new single. You can check that out on YouTube. It's doing very well. And also thanks to Scott Swish for mixing the song. Thanks to my castmate Lisa Lee Walt for giving us motivational moments all show long tonight. This girl preached it down. That was like some of the best, the best inspirational message I've ever heard from Lisa. And I've heard her speak hundreds of times, and I never get tired of it. But tonight, that was the best that I've heard so far, and I really enjoyed it. We have special episodes the entire month long leading up to the season two premiere, July 20th. Our final song of the night is Hillary Duff with Someone's Watching Over Me. Thanks for listening to the Sade Champagne Show, and see you next Wednesday from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific time right here on Grind Hard Radio. Thank you.